At first glance, this may seem like a carefree puppy gathering, but what you aren't aware of is that the extensive amount of training that these dogs will have to undergo in the next few years, these are service dogs. This is Bella. She has more Keogh syndrome, which causes her to have trouble walking normally. Her service dog, George, assists her so she is able to get around easily. When I had crutches, I couldn't walk at all, but now I can. Without George, life for her would be much more difficult. This is the same case for hundreds of people around the world who use service dogs to oh, make their life easier walk. every day. I lean on him like a crutch. I think it's given her more energy and more strength. Okay, take it. Up. All right, thank you. You're the best. All right. Good thank job. you. Right on. You're all set, huh? Yeah. That's okay, sir. All righty. <laughs> That is awesome. Good boy. Service dogs can also be used as physical support to allow their owners to engage in everyday tasks. Service dogs can also provide emotional support, as seen in some cases with veterans with PTSD. Service dogs enable their owners to do everyday tasks, such as going to the grocery or even picking up dropped items. A big part of what they do is provide companionship to their owners and allow them to live the lives that they want to. What do you know about the service dog program? I don't really know much about them, but I do see them walking around campus and they're like really cute with puppies. Um, I don't really know much about them. Uh, I see them on campus, but other than that, that's about it. Um, I actually don't know too much about it, but I learned some about it today just from a junior on campus who I always pet her dog every time I see her. Would you ever consider training a service dog? Um, probably not, considering it's too much responsibility, but that's, yeah. Um, yeah, depending on the responsibility, because I know that you can't like leave them alone. So if I had to go do something, I don't know how to bring it with me, but I think it'd be cool. Yes, I would love to. I love the puppies, and seeing them on campus actually like makes my day a lot better, actually. So being able to train one myself, I think the only problem would be I'd get way too attached. But I love the dogs anyways. I would want to help people. So what's your name? Rachel Sunderland. And what's your dog's name? Mima. All right. What drew you to raising a service dog? Um, so last year, um, me and a girl in my dorm were completely obsessed with dogs, and we found out about this program. Um, and I have a passion for kids and for dogs, and hopefully want to go into occupational therapy. And I thought, what better way um, to start that career than by training a service dog? OK. Um, what kind of training do you do with your dog? So our main job is to socialize the dogs. Um, a lot of people think that we give them like the training that they need, um, but that's not really our job. It's just to socialize them. So we take them everywhere we go, essentially, that um, people will allow us, um, and make sure that they're comfortable in all situations. Um, they're not scared of anything, or and they act um, correctly around children and kids and in all circumstances. OK. Mm -hmm. um. Do you feel that having a dog with you limits you in any way? Sometimes I do feel like it does limit me. Um, taking her to class is fine, but taking her to other functions like football games, like sometimes you know you have to like let them use the bathroom, which obviously takes some extra time in your schedule, um, and you always have to have them on your leash. Um, and so sometimes it does take us longer to get places, and if she doesn't want to get up from class, which happens a lot. Um, Sometimes it can inhibit you from doing like certain activities. Okay. Uh, 
what is the general attitude that people have towards your dog? Do they ask you questions? Do a they? lot of people ask me questions. Um, I would think people off campus ask me more questions because I feel like a lot of students already know about the organization. Um, so a lot of parents and kids are interested and they'll ask me um, what I'm doing with the dog, what she's going to do later on in her life, and um, just about the program and how I got involved. What's your name? My name is Robbie Feathouse. What's your dog's name? Bruce. Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne. There we go. <laughs> what drew you to uh, raising a service dog? Um, well, having a dog creates responsibility, right? And then having a, a service or therapy dog really gives you the sense of being able to help people who struggle. Because there's a lot of people who have uh, issues that they can't help, and they just make nervous a lot, or um, people like in hospitals, like kids in hospitals. That's what really drew me to it, being able to take them to a hospital and help uh, kids get a, get a good spirits. What kind of training do you do for Bruce? Um, for Bruce, when we first got him, we had to go to a private tutor, a uh, private tutor, private trainer. Um, he, that was, it's very expensive, but she worked with him on, you know, sit, come, learning his name, um, what to do on the leash, how to walk him. Um, and now she was like, okay, you know, take him around where there's people, get him used to people. So I started bringing him to school, just interacting in lots of different scenarios. Do you feel that having Bruce and having to take him along limits you in any way with uh, working at working at your job or trying to socialize? No, not really. Um, so you just have to be aware of him because you know as dogs they like to get into everything. So the worst thing is like he does now maybe he finds a paper clip or something he tries to use. So I just got to be aware of that. But besides that, no, it doesn't hinder me from ever going anywhere or doing anything. Do you ever find that people are curious about the service dog and what Bruce does, or, or maybe they're hostile? Like, what is the general attitude of people in public towards Bruce? Most people think he's cute, so they want to pet him, and but um, and they're always curious. You know, they ask what he does, um, what's he being used for, what's he being trained for. You know, they ask, "Am I doing the paws at UK or if I'm with a different um, organization?" But I did have someone ask if he was going to bite them, and I was very surprised by that one, considering he had his service vest on, but I guess some people some people are scared of dogs and some people like them. Uh, how did you come into this program? Uh, my friend told me about it, and uh, I just got involved with it that way. How do you think the dog has affected you as a student? Um, the dog takes a lot of time out of my day, the like, training takes a lot of time, but overall I don't really think that it's affected me in a bad way. What are the struggles of training a dog every day? Um, training him every day takes a lot of time, and since I live in the dorms, it's a little hard to take him out very often, and uh, the training just is a little harder. <laughs> do you feel like training a service dog is something that many people should do? Do you feel, and do you feel like you have gained from it in any way? I definitely do. I think. Um... If you like animals, you should do. Obviously, if you've had a dramatic experience with a dog and don't like dogs, don't do it. Or you're living in a place that doesn't allow a dog, you can't do it. But I think it's a very good. It teaches a lot of responsibility. My wife tells me I'm less selfish now, which I guess is a good thing. Uh, so it, it, it helps um, you care about something. It's something you don't always experience in life. Do you feel like you're helping the community by being a trainer? Yes, I do. What have you gained from the experience? Oh my goodness, I've gained so many things. Um, a love for service dogs and training them. Uh, patience, for sure. Um, it's something that doesn't come easily for dogs, training them, of course. So a lot of patience and just a love for what they're going to do and a knowledge of this instead of just um, coming into it. I didn't know exactly what went on behind the scenes and like how they became trained or what their purpose is, but I've definitely learned a lot about the organization. In this documentary, you've seen the many ways that service dogs, both on and off campus, have helped positively affect people's lives. These service dogs do so much for their owners and their families. Becoming a trainer is such a simple task that someone can do to improve a person's quality of life. Service dogs allow disabled persons to take their lives back and live the way they want to on their terms. Service dog development and training begins at a young age. Because of this, it takes a long time to effectively raise a service dog, but the impact lasts a lifetime. The responsibility that you take on is nothing in compared to the impact that you have on someone's life. Almost anyone can help Four Paws with their task by volunteering to become a registered service dog trainer. Raising a service dog can help you de-stress and helps give a helping hand to those who need it. 
adopt the service dog, make a difference, change a life.